Math is beautiful. This is something that people often say. What does it mean to say that math is beautiful? In this video, we're going to discuss that because it's something you hear all the time. People who love math, they'll say, oh, I really like math. I think it's beautiful. It's just such a beautiful subject. And I think when you're first learning math or when you're taking math classes that perhaps you don't like, you might wonder, how can something so hard and difficult be beautiful? Well, let's talk about it. This video is motivated by a message I received from a viewer here in the channel. And I'm gonna start this video by reading that message very carefully. And then I'll do my best to answer it. If you have any advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. The person's name is Omanch. O-M-A-N-S-H. The subject is discovering the beauty of mathematics. Sir, I have seen that mathematicians do math since they find it beautiful. Utility is more of a byproduct. I am curious about what they actually see in math that I can't. Like sure, I can enjoy mathematics, but not so much to do it as a hobby. So are there any resources maybe some books that can help me see mathematics from a different perspective so that I may understand where these mathematicians are coming from. Eagerly waiting for your reply, yours sincerely, Omanch. And they put their last name uh, in the message, but I won't, I won't reveal their last name. So it is different for everyone. Let me just start by saying that. When you're in school and you're taking math classes, you're going to take classes you like, and you're going to take classes you hate. I mean, personally, I took so many math classes, and there was plenty of classes I didn't like at all. There were some math classes I hated. Looking back, I probably should have appreciated them a lot more. But at the time, I didn't like the class, it wasn't fun, and it made my life pretty bad. I hated that math class. On the other hand, there were classes I loved. So where is the beauty and how do you find it? So for me, the beauty of mathematics really comes from the proofs, mathematical proofs. I think that the logical arguments and the proofs are beautiful. And different subjects have different proofs and different proof techniques, and those might appeal to certain people. And certain subjects won't appeal to certain people. So I think proof writing is something that will open the door for you and help you learn mathematics better. So how do you learn to write proofs? Well, I've got, I've got some good videos, I think. I, th I think they're pretty good. Uh, introductory proof writing videos. I have playlists. I also have courses on my website, mathsorcerer.com and stuff. But you really, need, you really need a book, a good book, that has good proofs. And there's lots of really great books out there. Tons, tons. But I always recommend one, I think, for beginners. It's this one here. It's how to prove it. A Structured Approach by Velman. It's a paperback, and this is a book that I feel like I was forced to buy it. I mean, no one held my hand and said, buy it, buy it, but for some reason, there was a period here in the channel where lots of people were leaving comments about this book, like, oh, you should check out the Velman book. So I thought, all right, I'll buy it. And I didn't want to buy it because it cost me more than 20 bucks. It was like 35 or something, I don't remember. So I bought it, and I read it, Big, slightly large portions of it, and I've done quite a bit of exercises from it, and I've done quite a bit of the examples from it, and I love it. I think it's a great book, and I'll leave a link in the description of this video in case you want to check it out. The reason this one is good is because the proofs, in my opinion, are very well written. I'm not saying the proofs in other books aren't, but I'm saying that in this book, the proofs are well written, and he oftentimes gives multiple explanations for the same thing. For example, when he's discussing vacuous, tr vacuous truths, he gives like three different explanations uh, trying to explain w what is meant by a vacuous truth. And he does a wonderful job. So things like that, I think, really help. Once you learn how to write proofs, even just the very simple proofs, you can start exploring different areas of advanced mathematics, you know, mathematical analysis, abstract algebra, you know, things like that. Topology at some point. 
And proof writing is essential for all of those things. So that's what I think, that's where I think the beauty comes from. So how do you discover new math subjects? Well, there is one book that covers a lot of math subjects, and it has a perhaps misleading title for that regard in the sense that it's a book that's intended for prospective graduate students. It's called All the Math You Missed But Need to Know for Graduate School. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. This is a wonderful book. Uh, I have both editions of this book, uh, the first edition and the second edition. The first edition, I pretty much read almost the entire book. Not quite the entire book, but uh, I've, I've read a decent amount of this book. It's written by Thomas Garrity, who I had the actual pleasure of interviewing here on the channel a few years ago. Great individual, brilliant mathematician, brilliant teacher. He's got a lot of really good stuff to say about mathematical maturity and you know, beauty. And He's a person who sees the beauty in mathematics and does math as a hobby because it brings him joy. Those were his words. So I definitely recommend this book to help discover, you know, different areas of math. I mean, it's got, it's got tons of different topics. I mean, look at all of those topics. And it gives you like a brief overview of every topic. It's not going to teach you all the topics, right? But it's going to expose you to them. It's going to increase your breadth. You know, mathematics is, is about breadth and depth. You know, you want to have an exposure to a lot of things, and you also want to have some depth. You want to know some, you know, some serious mathematics. You want to go deep. You know, go deep into abstract algebra, go deep into analysis, go deep into linear algebra. You know, learn all the theory, learn all those core theorems. And that's, I think, where, where the beauty comes from. But again, everyone is different. Some people find beauty, again, in certain subjects. So it'll depend on, on what you like. But that's my advice, Omanch, uh, is to learn to write proofs and start exploring different areas of math. And I think that's a way that you can find beauty. And unfortunately, most people who are watching this video, most people who are taking math classes, aren't in proof-based classes. You know, you can go to college and you can take algebra, trig, statistics, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, differential equations. But most people don't do the proof-based stuff because it's really math majors who do it. Computer science majors also you know, do some proof-based stuff when they study discrete math, but it's mostly math majors who really learn to write proofs. In fact, that's one of the things that you get uh, with a math degree is that ability to, you know, read a math book and absorb new math and write proofs. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Just a random video on beauty. What do you think? How do you find beauty in mathematics? And what do you think is beautiful? What makes it beautiful for you? Maybe it's just solving simple integrals, which I think it's fun. I think, I think, you know, figuring out problems, I, even the computational problems are fun for me. I just like math. I'm just, it's something I like. That's why I decided to you know, major in math. That's why I made that choice, because I enjoyed it. So those are my, uh, my words of uh, hopefully decent wisdom, and hopefully it helps someone out there, and hopefully it helps you, Omanch, uh, discover some beauty in math. If anyone else has this advice for Omanch, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. And if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Check out my website, mathsorcerer.com. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com, for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. And two, I've lowered the price to the bare minimum. So when you click my links, you should always get a low price. In any case, math is beautiful. It can be. Find the beauty in math. Keep doing mathematics.